Yo guys, what is up, this Nick? We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We're going to be playing, playing with a Parasite right now. So let's get this kicked off. As the tournament continued, Joey was challenged by Weevil Underwood. But what Joey didn't know was that Weevil was using his underhanded tricks again. Weevil slipped a card into Joey's deck that would make sure that none of Joey's strategies would work. We'll settle this fair and square with a duel. Alright. Uh, let's do this. That's fine with me, but we'll duel for two locator cards. That's if you even have two. Yugi squashed this creepy little bug the first time they squared off in Duelist Kingdom. Now I guess it's my turn to do the same. It's time to duel. Alright, Weevil, you and your stupid, stupid cards. Tribute one psychic monster. You turn all cards in your opponent's hand to the deck, then they draw three cards. Could be good, and that could be really bad. Oh my gosh, you can move the screen around. Oh my doing that's kind of trippy behind there and it doesn't go the way that you angle yay I won um I'm gonna go second I'm gonna see what he does I'm gonna see what he's going to do mm, not bad not good but not not bad not a bad hand no, never mind, I don't want to activate the scapegoat. No. Stop it, game! No, stop. Okay, I want to get rid of... Get rid of, um... Hmm. Get rid of sh shield and sword, maybe? Yeah, nah, yeah. Yeah, we'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of a Time Wizard. I'm gonna play Scapegoat, actually. So I should get four Scapegoat tokens. Alright. Let's set little Wingard, and call it a turn. Got a defense set up, I guess. That's about it. Okay, so we got Flying Kamakuri number two. Sekiretsu's armor. Grave Robber. And let me... Let's go ahead and summon Gia Freed. Let's flip low wing guard. Alright, low wing guard, you go ahead and attack his face down monster and head it moth. Gear free, you take out flying top of curry. Alright, it's end turn. Yes, I want to activate little wing guard's effect. Put him into defense mode. Should keep him alive. Sekirutsu was armor. Okay. What did he get rid of? Grave robber. Okay, I'd rather have Sekirutsu's armor anyway. Oh, look at that. I drew another grave robber. Isn't that special? Attack mode. Come on, can you ki Nope. None of my cards can kill that stupid cocoon of evolution. What the hell am I supposed to do? I just gotta wait it out. Hopefully he'll play perfectly ultimate great moss so then I can use Sekiretsu's armor. No, I don't want his mystical space typhoon. Can I draw anything that has over 2,000 attack points? Oh my gosh, it's just Grave Robber City, dude. This is annoying. It's going to keep asking me to activate Grave Robber. I forgot about that. No, stop. I don't want to activate it right now. You know what? I'm just going to take the Mystical State Space Typhoon. Just screw it. I'm taking it because this thing is so annoying. I know I paid 2,000 life points, but it's worth it. What does it want me to activate now? I'm just supposed to say second. I thought it cost 2,000 life points to play that. I guess not. Oh, it's not until I actually use the card. Okay. Okay, and my turn. I don't get the game should know, like, why do I want to- why would I want to use Mystical Space stuff? Oh, I only get it for one turn. Maybe I should pay more attention to this game. Insect Barrier... Okay, I really don't need to destroy that yet. Of course.
course. Um, okay, let me set let me set grave robber. I will need it here soon. Now to activate the effect a little wing guard. What is Weevil doing? This is so stupid. Robber, take the mystical space typhoon. Now activate mystical space typhoon and destroy insect barrier. It was worth it. All right, skull dice. Okay. Um. Actually, I'll attack. Heck, the heck did that do? Oh, it was an equip card, but I had Yefried, so equip cards don't work on him. That's actually pretty clutch. What card does it want me to activate? Skull Knights? No, not yet. What's he doing with Pin Chopper? What the heck is he doing with Pin Chopper? Oh my gosh, this is so annoying! Yes, fine, I'll activate the card now. It's gotta be higher than a 2. Okay, good, it's a 5. Beautiful. And now it's time to summon Thousand Dragon. Boom, boom. Alright, now, now it's go time, Weevil. Now it's, now we'll see what your stupid bugs can do. Alright, Gearfreed, why don't you go ahead and take out Cocoon. Now take that flying, that pinch hopper. Oh, I get what he was doing, he wanted to drop Insect Queen. That's, that's cute. That's cute, Weevil, that's cute, only the fact that I have Sekiretsu's armor set. Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, what the? The hell? Goodbye, Insect Queen. Uh, magical arm shield, that's not bad, but it doesn't do- Oh, I almost forgot to switch little wing guard to attack mode. I've been stupid if I would have forgot that. All right, Weevil, you got one more turn, buddy, or you're going down. Actually, you're going down anyway. I don't even. It doesn't matter because even if he plays something that destroys all my monsters, I have Monster Reborn to bring back either Insect Queen or Thousand Dragon, whichever one I choose. So I'm not really worried at this point. I do have the Monster Reborn. Oh, poor Weevil. Alligator sword, okay good. Now I have monsters in my hand and this is I made a mistake. I made a grave error, but it's alright. Alright, GG Weevil. Too easy, buddy. Welcome to Losersville, Weevil. Population you. I I I, I lost. I uh but wait, wait. Alright, Weevil, cough him up. Your insect queen and two locator cards. Have mercy? Mercy, you should have thought of that before you decided to cheat. Now, just like at Duelist Kingdom, you're out of the tournament. Alright, Mind Control, Playing with a Parasite Reverse, uh, Weevil Underwood Insect Queen deck, Insector Swarm Challenge deck, Insect Queen, Cockroach Knight, in Insect Barrier, and some Duel Points. Nice, alright, time for Mind Control. Oh, dude, is he gonna drop Slifer on my ass? Dude, I do not want that to happen. Merrick was in possession of two of the three Egyptian god cards, but he still needed the Millennium Puzzle to bring his plan together. Suddenly, Yugi found himself being challenged by a duelist named Strings. Yugi, prepare to duel and lose your puzzle. Merrick, meet my mind slave, Strings, the quiet one. Thanks to the power of the millenn my Millennium Rod, I can't read, my Millennium Rod, he shall defeat you. Coward. Why should I waste my time when I can duel through my mind puppets? 
battling with the power of my Millennium Rod is no different than you using your your puzzle to duel. That's not true. Your force, you force your servants to do your dirty work by taking control of their minds against their will. I duel res with respect and honor. Merrick, make your move. All right, story deck. If if he drops a slifer, it's over. We do get to go second. See what he. See what he's rolling with. He's got to have Slifer in the deck. It only makes sense. I better get the signature award Slifer the Sky Dragon for this. Dude, I didn't... Oh my god, what is this? What is this? But I don't have any cards in my hand that I want to get rid of. Oh my gosh, doubt. Doubt. This hand is horrible. This hand is some cheeks magoo. No, hold on, I don't want to activate it yet. Dang it, I selected the wrong card! Because the game is being stupid. Okay, we're gonna do that for right now. Dude, these, this hand was just horrible. And I discarded the wrong card, which pisses me off, man. What the heck is this? Fine, I'll activate card destruction. I'll draw two new cards. Give me... Oh god, this is... This is pathetic. What is this? Okay, well... Oh, okay. Well, I have six turns of him not being able to attack, so that's good. Because... This hand, why is he playing two cards of safe return? Oh god, what is he bringing back? A level t oh my- Oh my- Dude! Dude! Okay, I don't know. Oh, I got Slifer out of his hand, so ha. Huh. Naha, naha. Okay, time to summon Summon Skull. Okay, now summon Skull. Why don't you destroy the face down monster for me? Revival Jam. Son of a bitch! Stupid Revival Jam. Dude, I. This is like. If I want to draw. Oh god, stupid Revival Jam. You know, I don't actually think he can beat me. Okay, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. What am I. What am I smoking? Oh, so I can't attack this stupid thing. Awesome. Isn't that just awesome? Well, um, you know what? I'm gonna activate this. Bye. So I can't attack. Yeah, I can't attack that stupid thing. Oh my god. I don't know when I'm gonna use card destruction. It's gonna happen here. And oh my gosh, dude. Your Slifer is in the graveyard. I'm not quite sure what he thinks is gonna happen here. He doesn't have infinite cards out there, so... Not quite sure what is going on here, because he's gonna have to discard, like, all of those. There we go, there's infinite cards. Okay, so Alpha the Magnet Warrior. I can card destruction him soon. And then that will, like his, he's getting his deck just that, oh good, he's gonna have to keep bringing, he's gonna bring back these revival jams. Good, good, which means he has to draw more cards. Yep, keep on bringing those cards back to the field. I am okay with that. Revival Jam. Yep, draw two cards. Beautiful. Yep, this is working out well. I'm gonna win this card for by being the biggest little douche McGrouper. How many cards does he have in his hand? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. He has twelve cards in his hand. Uh, uh, uh. 
Card destruction, baby. Think about all your cards, and you're gonna run out of cards next turn. Oh my gosh, it's Morphing Jar. Uh -huh. Morphing Jar. I kinda wanna activate Morphing Jar, so I kinda wanna leave Revival Jam on the field. Oh my gosh, it's another freaking Revival Jam. Actually, let's just attack. What am I doing? I like Morphing Jar, but when I, I don't know what I'm smoking, then I'm like, oh yeah, let's just, uh, let's just jack around so I can use Morphing Jar. That makes no sense. Oh, and GG. Yep, draw your one card and that'll do her. Yep. <laughs> it's so stupid. I win, it's over. I can't be... Or it can't be. How could I lose with an Egyptian God card in, you, in my deck? Because I sent it to the graveyard. You'll pay. You have defeated Slifer, but I hold another Egyptian God card. A much more powerful one. So savor this victory while you can, for it will be your last. Dark Spirit Revealed Campaign. Mind Control Reverse. Strings Avatar. Slime Revival Deck Recipe. Trail of Slime Challenge Deck. Slifer the Sky Dragon Signature Card. Beautiful. Humanoid Worm Drake, Call of the Haunted, and some dual points. Nice. Alright, so time to do Dark Spirit Revealed. So, get to face Bakura. It was now time for the Battle City Tournament Finals. Hey look, Joey, Yugi, and Mai. Check it out, we all got six locator cards. Kaiba, Joey, Yugi, and Mai were the first four duelists to reach the finals. The fifth finalist soon arrived. It was Merrick using the fake name Namu. He befriended Teya and Joey during the tournament. His plan was falling into place. Yugi, meet our friend Namu. I've heard about you, Yugi. It's an honor to meet you. Any friend of Joey and Teya, it, Teya's is a buddy of mine. I'm so happy to be surrounded by such a welcoming crowd. I just hope everyone I meet tonight is as friendly as you people. Hey, that's Bakura. What's he doing here? What are you What are you doing with wearing a dual disc? How else could I win six locator cards and enter the finals? Rewind a sec. When did you join the tournament? Join, how'd you make it all the way to the finals? The seventh finalist arrived just in time for Bakura to change the topic. Hey look, it's the seventh finalist. This guy looks familiar and that's a mug you don't forget. State your name. I am Merrick. Merrick's henchman Odeon assumed Merrick's name to hide Merrick's true identity. It was all a part of Merrick's plan. I'll kick your brainwashing keister. You are no match for me, fool. The only reason I'm not tossing you out by your cape right now is so I can save my energy to take you down in the finals. Got that, pal? I think I scared him, you... Why does he... <laughs> Why are they... He doesn't talk like that. Whatever. Now that seven of the eight finalists arrived, Kaiba announced that even though their locator cards led them to this location, it wasn't the site of the Battle City Finals. At that moment, Kaiba's blimp arrived. Once they were, on, were aboard, it was time for the first duel between Yuki and Bakura. Yugi knew there was something not right with Bakura. I know that's not Bakura, it's the evil spirit of the Millennium Ring, and I bet he's still after the 7 Millennium Item. This duel is going to be tougher than everyone thinks. I must win this. The fate of the world depends on it. Are you prepared to lose it all? Why all the fuss? What's around Bakura's neck? Now, it's kind of hard to explain, but that's not really Bakura. You see, Yugi and Bakura both have these real old objects that have magic powers. Yugi's item is good, but Bakura's item is bad. Because an evil spirit lives inside of it. So you're telling me there's an evil spirit up there dueling Yugi? That's hard to believe. The team had no idea that Namu was actually Merrick and that the evil spirit possessing Bakura was working for him. Now that the introductions are over and done with, why don't we begin this duel? Oh god, I'm gonna, he's going to try to play final. Which I really like. I like a final deck. It's kind of fun to play with a dark necro fear. I actually really like Dark Necrofear as a card. What'd I get? Okay, a below average card, or a below average hand. I don't really like this hand, but... Ah, uh, the hand got a little better. I'm gonna activate Graceful Charity and see what I can draw. Well, I drew Slifer. Cards on the field. If any of those good cards is now equipped to an incorrect target, destroy that equipped card. Okay, don't want that. Um, well, I think I'm gonna send I'm gonna send Red Eyes to the graveyard. 
And I'm gonna summon Beta the Magic War Ma Magnet Magic Warrior. Yeah, Beta the Magic Warrior. But Beta the Magnet Warrior. Oh, Sandian, son of a bitch. Well, I know he's going to have monsters in his hand now, and that's not good. That's probably Sangan again. Oh, Nightmare Steel Cage. You have got to be kidding me. Um, okay, Magic Cylinder time. Uh, let me summon Dark Magician Girl. I was going to go for a Karibo. And then try to summon her, but I don't think that was the best idea. Okay. 2700 attack for her, not bad. What is he doing? I don't know what his strategy is to beat you if he doesn't use... Um, if he's not using the final, I don't know how what he's wanting to do to win. I don't know what the... Okay, good. He's just setting... I could go for Slifer. I could go for Slifer. Oh, there's Dark Magician. Do I want to go for Slifer? I don't think I want to go for Slifer yet. Um, but I guess... I guess I can go for Slifer. I guess that could be interesting. It's only going to have... It's not going to have the attack points, really. Yeah, get your stupid Sangan off the field. Look, it like shoots out of her stomach. That's just weird. Eh, draw your stupid card. I don't really know what his strategy is in this duel. Um, because all I remember from the show is he tried to play final, didn't he? And he tried, yeah, I think so. I don't know. Dude, he's just setting monsters. What is this? Giant soldier, the st giant soldier of stone. Well, do I want to go for Slifer? Like, it's not going to do me any good to summon Slifer, because I don't have I don't have any cards in my hand. So his attack is not going to be OP. I'd be better to summon a Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl in the next two turns than summon Slifer. Oh no. Oh god, it's Dark Necrofear. What is Dark Necrofear's effect? Card this turn either, and so then uh, face a monster your opponent controls, equip this card from the graveyard to that target while this card is equipped to a monster by this effect, take control of that monster. Hmm. I could summon Slifer. And it would have 3,000 attack, but I don't know with Necrofear... I don't really know how Necrofear works. I'm not gonna kill it yet, so it doesn't even matter. I gotta take out the rest of his monsters first. Okay, we're just gonna ignore Dar Dark Necrofear for now. I wish he had a Morphing Jar, because I don't think I'm even gonna play Slifer, unless I get... My, if I have a Morphing Jar, that would work. If I had a Morphing Jar, I think I'd be okay, but... Because then I could draw cards. But I don't have a Morphing Jar, so... Not good. And see, I don't, Slifer can't be taken control of by... Um, this card... Wait. Any monsters? Okay, um... Okay, I think we're alright for now. Hmm. What's he doing with Dark Necrofear? Yeah, you can not attack with that, and you can suck on my magic cylinder. I want to do straw face up fiend type monsters on the field. Well, okay. Goodbye, Dark Necro. <laughs> That's so cheap. That is so cheap. Okay, well, 
think this is how I'm gonna go about it. I don't know, I wanna get Slifer out there, but there really isn't a point at this moment. This is a better strategy at this particular time. It's just to have Dark Magician girls and Dark Magicians out there. Maybe, see like right now if I even summon Slifer, he'd be so weak it wouldn't even be, he'd have zero attack points. He would literally have zero attack points. Okay, now Dark Magician Girl, attack him directly. Should be able to win it here. Oh, Dark- What the- Oh my god, oh my god. Dude. We're kinda screwed here. Um, I think I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. He's got another Dark Necro Fear, I'm gonna lose. Yeah. Well, I'm so screwed, man. That stupid Dark Necro Fear, so even if it's destroyed by a card effect, it still counts. Okay. Well, I gotta have the draw for the ages here, like uh, a Morphing Jar now. Nope, that's GG. Ah, <sighs> dude. the heck, man? He didn't even play Destiny Board, so that's a horrible tip. That's not why I lost. Alright, story deck. God. These Yugi story decks are kind of some ass, because... It's just... It's really focused on Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, and it doesn't give you a lot of room to play much else other than those. I think I'm going second, but I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay, I will take this hand. I actually like this hand. No, I'm going first. Okay, well. Um, multiply. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm going to toss this hand. Well, do I want to toss this hand? I don't think I want to toss his hand yet. So I want to summon Beta. And then I want to set some cards. Yep, I got a little strat here, but I need to- I want to play that card destruction here soon. But not too much. Alright, Silver Fang. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna summon Silver Fang. Hold on, I'm gonna go about it this way. Okay, so. Beta. Oh, Sand Gan. Stupid Sand Gan. Dude. Stupid effing Sand Gan. Dark Necro Fear is about to destroy me. I can't play Card Destruction because I'm gonna throw too many cards in his graveyard. He's gonna instantly be able to summon a Dark Necro Fear. And I don't want that happening. Ha ha ha, suck on my magic cylinder. Actually, I think I could win this next turn. <laughs> I actually think... Oh no, it's gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna come up a little short, but I actually am gonna come close to winning this turn. Okay, so now I have a mirror force, that's good. Okay, let's sacrifice Silver Fang. Summon Dark Magician Girl, activate Sage of Stone. Summon Dark Magician. Yeah, we're gonna cut. Well, we'd be really. We're gonna be close. He's gonna be under like a thousand. I could easily do the math, but I'm not going to. He'll have 600 life points left. Okay, I've got Mirror Force, so even if he takes one of my. Oh god, it's Destiny Board time. It's Destiny Board time. He doesn't have enough to summon a Dark Necro Fear, so that could be GG. I think that's GG. What did I draw? Um, no. I want a card destruction now. Okay, I actually got two, rid of two Necro, Dark Necro Fears. Obviously, he still has one left, but I don't think it's gonna matter. No, it's not gonna matter. Alright, that was easy. That was a whole lot easier than the last time. Alright, GG, Bakura. Bakura, you okay? Hey, where am I?
you're with your friends now, Bakura. I'm glad Bakura's okay. The Millennium Ring is a lot like my puzzle. It holds an ancient spirit that depends on someone else so it can exist. And even though the spirit of the ring is evil and controls Bakura against his will, it seems to still need Bakura in order to survive. But there is one major difference between Bakura and I. What's that? The spirit inside my item is, a fr is my friend, and you and I are always there to support each other no matter what comes our way. You were there to help me when my grandfather was in trouble, and now I'm here to help you rescue the world from evil. I promise that together we'll figure out the secrets of your ancient past and how to unlock your pin powers before Merrick can take them. Because your destiny is mine too, and we're gonna win. That's right. This was a tough duel, but thanks to our teamwork and the heart of the cards, we came out on top. Now we're headed for round two, and we're gonna take it all the way. Okay, so Awakening, the Awakening of Evil, Duel Unlocked, Reverse Duel, Final Destiny, Deck Recipe, the Burning Abyss Challenge Deck. There we go, Signature Award Card, Dark Necrofear, Spirit Message Letter A, and the Portrait Secret, along with some uh, Duel Points. Let's go and open up a couple of packs here. I've got a ton of points now. Um, let's open up, I think I might open up five Yugi's, a couple, we'll open up a little bit of everything here to end this episode. Chosen one. Oh, ho, ho. pulling that obelisk, the tormentor out of pack. Holy crap. I did not think you'd be able to pull that out of packs. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Uh, dedication through light and darkness. That's not, I'm not, I'm not upset about that card. Um, yeah, I'm looking for another ma dark magician of chaos. I'm looking for one more of those. Magician of Faith, not horrible. Oh, uh, Curse of Dragon. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna open up one more of these and then we'll try another pack. Dark Magic Attack, not bad. Card Destruction, not horrible. Okay, let's open up a few Kaibas. Looking for Blue Eyes, obviously. And I don't really know what else, but... Okay, Ancient Rules, that's a good pull. That's good in a Dark Magician or Blue Eyes deck. Uh, King Dragoon, Toon Goblin Attack Force. Okay, I'm gonna open up one more Kaiba and then we'll move on from his packs. Soggy. This pack was already good. We pulled Soggy. Okay, let's open up a couple Joeys. Uh, eh, oh, Divine Grace. Okay, not not a bad card. I actually like that artwork on that card, so. But that doesn't make it a good card. Swamp Battle Guard. Ooh, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Nice. Uh, let's move on to Bakura. Let's do some Bakura packs now. Eh, just by the look of that, I don't like any of those cards. So if I don't pull anything good out of here out of Bakura, I'm going to be done. Yeah, Acid Trap pulls not bad. Garnetia Elephantis. Okay, let's open up some Mai's. Got to get some more Harpies and Amazonas. Didn't pull any. Uh, Enchanted Javelin's not horrible. Let's see... Damn, I'm kind of drawing dead on pulling Elegant Egotist, I needed that. Uh, Book of Secret Arts is not bad for Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl deck. Uh, Insect Princess, Pinch Hopper, so it's kind of not good. Yeah, I'm not pulling like any. Dark Energy isn't bad, I don't oh, know, that, that's different in the real card game, I forgot. It's really good in Duelist of the Roses, but not... Oh, there's a Harpy Lady. There's a Harpy's Pet Dragon, so there we go, finally a pretty good pack. Let's pull one more mine, then we'll pull some Grandpa packs. Launcher Spider. God, I, I'm not pulling anything good out of the my packs. You know what I wish they would have done? Is stick underneath the percentage of cards you have collected out of the packs. Mother Grizzly is not a bad card, but that's kind of something I wish they would have done. Um, like they do on some games. Hmm, nothing really there. Open up a, probably two more Grandpa packs just to see here. Right, Gacky. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna end up doing like just an episode of me deck building at the end of this giant Trunade. I wonder if you can play like non ban list. Like I don't want to play with the ban list. Injection Fairy Lily. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, we'll pull two more grandpas. This one included. Rescue Rabbit. One more pack, Grandpa. What are you gonna give me? Give me something good. Eh, eh, level limit area B, not bad. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. In the next one, we will be uh, taking on the Awakening of Evil, which is Joey versus Odeon. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys.